everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a bit of a different video all about perfumes that have a sorbet note in it. So sorbet or gelato, um, as it's known in different, some countries, um, is like that icy, yummy alternative to ice cream. I much prefer it to ice cream. I don't think it has, sorbet has any milk in it. And it's that sort of sugary, glassy, summer, sweet smell, which is in some perfumes, and I absolutely love it as a perfume ingredient. If you're new here, then welcome. We're all about perfumes here. So check out all my other videos, I have hundreds. And do subscribe if you haven't already, if you've been watching for a while then don't forget to subscribe and show your support and as always I'll leave links down below to where you can get these perfumes in the US, the UK and Europe. So the first one I'm going to start with is from Escada and it is Agua del Sol. Now I love this smell, it is a gorgeous sorbet. It's a fruity sorbet and it smells just like those fruit sorbets and um, fruit gelatos in like, you know, really hot weather. Mm, 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 mm. I love it, I love it, I love it. I get fruit flavoured gelato when I get it, so this is like perfect for me. This is perfect for summer. It has some apricot, some citrus, some raspberry, but it, it's mainly just loads of fruity notes, but all with this sorbet, you know, icy sugariness to it that just makes it feel so summery, like walking into a gelato shop. And um, I really like the sort of yellow and blue of the bottle and, you know, they've got yellow inside the lid and they've even got yellow in the spray there, if you can see. So nice little details and very affordable. I think this is a 50 mil and it cost me 15 pounds, I think. And the bottles um, come in these amazing boxes that always have unique designs on them. If you don't know about the Escada limited editions, they come out once a year. Um, this came out a few years ago actually, but still available. I'll leave it linked, very good value. And just, I'd say get this before it goes if you love that like tangy fruity um, sorbet scent. It, it really is lovely. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this summer. Next on my list is Signorina in Fiore from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is a, um, a little bit more sort of pretty pretty rather than fruity sorbet. It's a red berry sorbet and kind of like a pear sorbet note in here. And then it also has quite a bit of cherry blossom that comes through after a while so slightly floral and um, I'd say this is more like this sort of pretty innocent um, sorbet whereas Agua del Sol is like the party fiesta sorbet but I think that these bottles you know I've talked about them before beautiful with their um, shape and this bow and everything and again very affordable this cost um, I think like 20 something pounds and it's just a nice everyday, good for work, very elegant, simple, nice, fresh berry sorbet. Good for summer. So you may have noticed if you're regular here that I got the Angel Au Crozier, Crozier this year, which is the summer version, which has fig in. But last year's version, the 2019 version, which you can still get, I'll leave it linked below, that had sorbet in and it looks kind of like this but it has a more like orangey yellow notes in the color whereas this is like a bit darker and that basically like a grapefruit sorbet in there mango sorbet really really sharp at first with that grapefruit very refreshing i kind of wish i bought it now um but never mind. Um, and of course that bottle is beautiful. I always think the bottles of Angel are just stunning, right? And with that bright yellow vibrancy, it's really nice. But yeah, it's got that tang of grapefruit, then that fruity mango, and it's all just like that grapefruit sorbet, like, like tangy, like refreshing. And then after a while it fades down to become that light signature angel scent. You know, it's an eau de toilette, it's fresh, so it's not the heavy angel like the original. There is as well an angel eau sucre, um, which means sugar in French. And this is basically like a sugary sorbet, vanilla sorbet, fruity sorbet. It's just like pure sugary sweetness. Again, much more for the summer, you know, that, that zesty, uh, tangy uh, sweetness. 
there's also caramel in there so imagine your, your sort of sweet shop type smell very very sugary and um, but that sorbet note adds a sort of freshness to it upliftingness to it one of the Jean Paul Gaultier classic limited editions called Eau Fresh again had that sugary sorbet note in so that freshness of a sorbet it also had orange blossom in so this kind of made it slightly orangey um, orange blossom of course quite light and sparkly which works well with a fresh sorbet scent and um, so this not really anything like the original classic though it does still have some vanilla in but nowhere near as much as in original classic. Viva La Juicy has an edition called Viva La Juicy Glass and I think glass is the French words for ice cream sorbet. So this is a really, really sorbet. Again, it's pear sorbet. Um, so very refreshing, watery sorbet. And then it has this sweet vanilla in that we recognize from original Viva La Juicy, that signature sweet scent. But this is like a much fresher, much sweeter, summery version. The bottle is that like ice color. So um, quite cool. If you like original Viva La Juicy, then I think you'll like this. The new DKNY Woman 2020 uh, Summer Edition is an orange sorbet, raspberry sorbet um, with some pretty white florals underneath. So look out for this. It's, um, I think sorbet seems to be quite a popular note at the moment. I'm noticing brands use it more and more. So um, quite a vote of confidence that DKNY have used this in their summer edition. A really nice tangy bitter orange orange sorbet is from Moschino or Moschino called So Real Cheap and Chic. So of course their famous cheap and chic perfume, this version So Real, is this amazing tangy orange sorbet. Orange sorbet I think is actually my favourite. I usually get orange sorbet or one of the berry sorbets and it has that tanginess of bitter orange and orange in here very refreshing I think this would be good for hot weather just that that hit of refreshing sorbet orange like sherbet orange almost really nice another very refreshing kind of green one from Beyonce actually her rise sheer so she has one called rise and she has rise sheer this is a lemony sorbet but then it has a bit of basil in so lemon and basil complement each other well and the basil brings a greenness to it like a fresh green basil and then you've got this lemon sorbet freshness so this is definitely a light uplifting perfume um but very very light and something if you want something just simple and sheer like it says and light and you like your lemons another pear sor sorbet from Anais Anais Cacherelle their version that they released called Anais Anais Delici Low. So this is that pear sorbet is the main note and then you still do get like this this hint of the original Anais Anais powdery freesia jasmine but the pear sorbet is really the main note so and um, it's like a much fresher version if you like original Anais Anais you like powdery perfumes then this is a nice way to get that more summery fresher sorbet um, way of getting it but still having a little bit of that powdery um, in the background. Vera Wang Princess Revolution has a really nice cherry sorbet uh, which it's like watermelons in there as well very refreshing and then you've got this like sweet cherry um grapefruit sorbet so this is very much your more like berries and citruses and in the sorbet selection uh, but really nice i love how like tangy and fruity this is but that sweetness of the sorbet make it quite summery 212 vip club edition i always find these names so funny this is summer in new york from carolina herrera and um, sorbet again the main note and it's kind of a citrusy sorbet and dries down into a powdery one in the end um, but at first it's very like fresh citrus sorbet and then lastly i wanted to throw in eternity now one of the flankers from the eternity woman range this is a qu quince quince sorbet kind of like a lemony fresh tanginess uh, some lychee in there as well so again like very fresh tangy sorbet and then they have some delicate floral notes in there as well so quite a delicate one but something with that fruity sorbet in that makes it quite summery 
So guys, that's my rundown. Uh, let me know if you like any of these or if there are any others you'd add to the list here. Um, I'm a huge sorbet fan, so let me know your favourite flavour and, and what perfume reminds you of it. And now I really want to go and get a sorbet. <laughs> but that's it guys, so thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!